This was Earth 66 million years ago, the golden age when dinosaurs totally ruled the world. These massive beasts had been dominating our planet for a solid 160 million years, basically the most successful rulers in Earth's entire history. In North America, tyrannosaurs were running wild, with T. rex being the undisputed king of them all. As the strongest land predator ever, T. rex's favorite hobby was hunting down fierce triceratops. These two families had been feuding for countless years. Besides these superstar dinosaurs, other dino species were absolutely mind-blowing. Ankylosaurs packed terrifying tail clubs plus heavy armor plating. Even the most vicious predators had to think twice before messing with them. Dinosaurs weren't just evolving in size and looks. They even developed sophisticated parenting skills. Edmontosaurus would build mound nests in warm spots, then carefully tend to their eggs. Even the savage T-Rex, despite being super aggressive, was actually pretty solid at taking care of their young. Over in Asia lived one particularly weird dinosaur, Dinochirus. Just from the name, you know this guy had some seriously scary claws. A 30-foot body covered in feathers completely flipped our traditional image of dinosaurs upside down. And down in South America lived a bunch of absolute giants. These portosaurus stretched up to 115 feet long, like walking mountains. But they had their nemesis too, Maposaurus. These massive carnivorous dinosaurs had razor-sharp claws, some reaching 16 inches long. And with their 30-foot bodies, they totally had what it takes to challenge Portosaurus. In the Southern Hemisphere, these giants were throwing down life or death battles every single day. All this hunting wasn't just about filling their bellies. It was about feeding their babies too. 66 million years ago, these beasts were at their absolute peak. If they'd kept evolving, who knows what kind of miracles they would have become. But everything was about to change. A six-mile-wide asteroid slammed hard into Earth, and the dinosaurs' doomsday had arrived. 200,000 years after the asteroid impact, plants finally started bouncing bouncing back, and Earth entered the early Cenozoic era. The age of mammals had officially begun. This fuzzy little guy you see here was the ancient ancestor of us primates. It was about the size of a modern capybara, and just like us, ate pretty much everything. During the dinosaur reign, most mammals were only as big as tiny mice. It was only from this point on that they started getting bigger and bigger. However, in this forest, there was still one giant herbivore living alongside them, Edmontosaurus. Even though most dinosaurs went extinct, a few giant dinos survived survived and became neighbors with the mammals. This is the real Paleocene world that scientists have reconstructed for us using fossil evidence combined with advanced imaging technology.